The Nissan Skyline GTR is a Japanese Grand Tourer based on the Nissan Skyline range. The first GTRs were produced from 1969 to Euro 1973. After a 16-year hiatus since the KPG C110 in 1972, the GTR name was revived in 1989 with the Skyliner 32. This car was nicknamed Godzilla by the Australian motoring publication Wheels in its July 1989 edition. The BNR32 would end up winning 29 straight victories out of 29 races in the Japanese motorsport. The GTR proceeded to win the JGTC Group A Series Championship four years in a row, and also had success in the Australian Touring Car Championship winning from 1990 Euro 1992, until a regulation change excluded the GTR in 1993. The Skyline GTR became the flagship of Nissan Performance, and showcasing many advanced technologies including the Atisa ETS 4WD system and the Super HICAS four-wheel steering. The GTRS remained inexpensive compared to its European rivals, with a list price of A4,500,000 yen. Today, the car is popular for import drag racing, circuit track, time attack and events hosted by tuning magazines. The GTR is the winner in the 2007 Tsukiba Time Attack held in Japan a Euro the M Speed GTR. Production of the Skyline GTR ended in August 2002. The car was replaced by the Nissan GTR, an independent vehicle not sold as a Skyline. The Skyline GTR was never manufactured outside of Japan, and the sole export markets were Hong Kong, Australia, and New Zealand in 1991 and the UK has used Japanese imports. Despite this the car has become an iconic sports car, including in countries from the Western world. It has become notable through pop culture such as the Fast and the Furious series, Initial D, Shako Tan Boogie, Wang and Midnight, and Gran Turismo. The car was named at the time by BBC's Top Gear as the only true Japanese contribution in the line of supercars, and by Jeremy Clarkson as one of the best cars in the world. History of the brand The Skyline name originated from Prince Automobile Company, which developed and sold the Skyline line of sedans before merging with Nissan Datsun. The GTR abbreviation stands for Gran Turismo Racer while the GTB stands for Gran Turismo Berlinetta. The Japanese chose to use Italian when naming the car a Euro as most cars made in Japan at that time used Western abbreviations a Euro to further enhance sales. The earliest predecessor of the GTR, the S54 2000 GTB, came second in its first race in 1964 to the purpose-built Porsche 904 GTS. The next development of the GTR, the four-door PGC 10 2000 GTR, scored 33 victories in the one and a half years it raced, and by the time it attempted its 50th consecutive win, its run was ended by a Mazda Savannah RX-3. The car took 1,000 victories by the time it was discontinued in 1972. The last of the original GTRS, the KPGC 110 2000 GTR, used an unchanged S2119 a kilowatt inline six engine from the earlier 2000 GTR and only sold 197 units due to the worldwide energy crisis. This model was the only GTR to never participate in a major race despite the sole purpose-built race car which now resides in Nissan's storage unit for historical cars in Zama. The Skyline continued into the 1990s when it became popular largely because it remained rear-wheel drive while most other manufacturers were focusing on front-wheel drive cars. Throughout its lifetime, various special editions containing additional performance-enhancing modifications, were released by Nissan and its performance division Nismo. Versions First generation, the first Skyline GTR, known by the internal Nissan designation PGC-10, was released on February 4, 1969, and was exclusive to Japanese Nissan dealership network called Nissan Print Store when the Prince company was integrated into Nissan operations in 1966. It was available originally as a four-door sedan after a public debut at the October 1968 Tokyo Motor Show. It was advertised alongside the Nissan A380 race car to showcase the Skyline's racing heraldry. 
it was equipped with a 2.0 LDOHCS 20i6 producing 160 HP at 7000 RPMs and 177 nm of torque at 5600 RPMs. Power was delivered to the rear wheels by a 5-speed manual transmission. The first Skyline GTR rode on a semi-trailing arm strut suspension. It was available as a coupe in March 1971 with a chassis code KPGC-10. A popular name for the PGC and KPGC-10 Skyline GTR was Hakozuka, which is a combination of the Japanese word for box and the pronounced abbreviation of Skyline. A total of 1,945 PGC and KPGC-10 Skyline GTRS were produced. Second Generation The KPGC-10 successor, the KPGC-110, was released in 1973 after its introduction at the 1972 Tokyo Motor Show. Powered by a 1989 CCI-6S20 engine, the second-generation GTR delivered power to the rear wheels through a five-speed manual gearbox. This car also had both front and rear disc brakes. The suspension was a semi-trailing ring arm setup and minor aerodynamic parts were added. This edition of the GTR was also known as the Ken and Mary Skyline, due to a popular advertisement featuring a young couple enjoying the Hokkaido countryside. The advertisement later spawned a hit song by Buzz and the tree featured in the advertisement later became a minor star itself. Unfortunately, the second-generation GTR was unsuccessful, for a gasoline crisis hit in the early 1970s, drying out any demand for high-performance sports cars. A total of 197 cars were built by the end of its short production run. For the next decade, this would be the last GTR until the production of the year 32 in 1989. Third generation, concept, after cancelling the Skyline GTR in 1973, Nissan revived the GTR again in 1989. At the time Nissan was competing in Group Racing with the Skyline GTSR. Nissan wanted to retire the GTSR in favor of a more competitive vehicle. The new generation GTR, EBNR 32 chassis, was designed to dominate Group A racing. Nissan Kaki originally tested a twin-turbocharged 2350cc board and stroked version of the RB20 engine. This setup produced 233 a kilowatt and used a WD drivetrain. Under Group A regulations, a turbocharged engine must multiply its engine displacement by 1.7, putting the new Skyline in the 4000cc class, and requiring the use of 10-inch wide tires. Knowing that they would be required to use 10-inch wide tires, Nissan made the decision to make the car all-wheel drive. Nissan developed a special motorsport-oriented AWD system for this purpose called the Atisa ETS. Although this assisted with traction, it made the car 100 kg heavier. The added weight put the GT at a disadvantage to other cars in the 4000cc class. Nissan then made the decision to increase the displacement to 2600 cc, and put the car in the 4500 cc class, with the car's weight near equal to competing cars. The 4500 cc class also allowed for 11-inch wide tires. New engine block and heads were then developed to better match the increased displacement. The result was a 600-horsepower car. Later Reliniq produced Group A racing engines between 373 a Euro 485 a kilowatt depending on track conditions. Production This new 2.6L all-wheel drive concept was put into production as the A32 Nissan Skyline GTR. The A32 developed 206 a kilowatt and 266 a LBAFT of torque, it had a curb weight of 1430 a kg. Nissan officially started its production run August 1989, and began its Group A campaign in 1990. Due to strict Group A homologation rules, Nissan was required to also sell a series of the Skyline GTR which more accurately reflected the car they use in Group A racing. This series was called the Skyline GTR Nismo Edition. The Skyline GTR Nismo, introduced on February 22, 1990, has a total production of 560 units as required for the Evolution Models regulation. Only 500 of the cars were sold to the public, 
with 60 being held by Nissan to turn into race cars. Its purpose is to homologate a number of aerodynamic changes used in Group A racing. Changes include additional ducts in the front bumper to improve airflow to the intercooler, a bonnet lip spoiler to direct more air into the engine bay, and an additional boot lip spoiler to provide more downforce. The Nismo GTR was only available in gunmetal gray. The Skyline GTR N1 model, introduced on July 19, 1991, was designed for home market N1 racing with a total of 228 units produced. The most notable change was in the engine, which was upgraded to the A32N1 specification. The car was also lightened by the removal of the ABS, air conditioning, sound system, rear wiper, trunk carpet, and the use of lightweight headlights. No color options were available and all N1 cars were delivered with a thin layer of crystal white paint. The result was a 30 kg weight savings for a curb weight of 1,400 kg. To celebrate the success of the GTR in both Group N and Group A racing, Nissan introduced the Skyline GTR V-Spec car on February 3, 1993. The V-Spec added Brembo brakes and a retuned Atisa ETS system to the Nismo and N1 packages, as well as 17 inches BBS wheels with 22,517 tires. The V-Spec has a list price of A5,260,000 yen. Finally on February 14, 1994 the Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 was released, with the only change being wider 24,517 tires. In addition, both the V-Spec and V-Spec 2 had a curb weight of 1,480 kg, weighing 50 kg more than the standard GTR. Total production of the V-Spec IN2 was 1,453 and 1,303 units respectively. Total production of the A32 Skyline GTR was 43,934 units, with production starting on August 21, 1989. An above average proportion of the GTRs were sold in white, this is likely because white is the national racing color of Japan in international motorsport. Production figures Standard cars equals 40,390, NISMO Grouper Evolution equals 560, V-Spec equals 1,453, V-Spec 2 equals 1,303, N1 race version equals 228, total equals 43,934. Fourth generation. The EBC NR33 was developed in 1995 as a successor to the A32 model. The engine in the A33 was nearly identical to the A32. It used the same turbochargers and the same specification for the manual gearbox, although the synchros were made to be stronger. The engine corrected the A32's weak oil pump drive collar, which tended to fail in higher power applications, with a wider collar. The base model A33 GTR weighs 1,540 kg. The A33 GTR launched in January 1995 with the base model GTR and the V-Spec model. The V-Spec model weighed in 10 kg heavier, and had sportier suspension resulting in lower ground clearance. The V-Spec also featured the newer Atisa ETS Pro all-wheel drive system, which included an active limited slip differential. The V-Spec model also included a four-wheel independent channel anti-lock braking system. At the same time as the release of the R33 GTR and GTR V-Spec, Nissan released the R33 GTR V-Spec N1 model. Changes made in the R33 N1 are similar to those in the R32 N1. The car was made lighter by removing the ABS, air conditioning, sound system, rear wiper and trunk carpet. The R33 GTR V-Spec N1 received the slightly revised R33 N1 engine. The A33 ended production in November 9, 1998. The last one that rolled off the line came in a 34 color, as it shared the same color code. NISMO 400R. A special edition A33 was released on November 3, 1997 called the 400R, with a standing for racing. Overall development and planning was by NISMO. But, its board and stroke RB26 DETT engine, the RBX GT2, was engineered and produced by Reinique. The engine featured 77.7 arm stroke crankshaft, 
forged 87 ohm pistons, upgraded rods, polished ports, high lift camshafts, upgraded oil system, larger exhaust manifolds, and higher output turbochargers. NISMO produced an upgraded exhaust, a twin plate clutch, and intercooler system. Nismo brake pads were fitted to the car. 400 or exclusive aerodynamic updates were also added, such as wider fenders, side skirts, a new rear bumper, a new front bumper with bigger air scoops, and a redesigned bonnet and rear spoiler made of carbon fiber. The 400 was also fitted with 18x10 Nismo LMGT1s. The car developed 300 a kilowatt and 347 LBAFT, which allowed a top speed of over 186 a mile per hour and enabled it to reach 0 a euro 97 a kilometer per hour in 4.0 seconds. 370 a kilowatt is easily achieved with a higher boost setting. NISMO had originally planned to produce 100 units of the 400R, however only 44 units were made before production of the R33 ended in 1998. Production figures, standard cars equals 9871. V spec equals 6551, total equals 16422, figures include N1 and LM limited versions. Fifth generation, the GT GF BNR34 Skyline GTR and GTR V spec models were released in January 1999. The R34 GTR was also made to be shorter, and the front overhang was reduced. The valve covers were also painted glossy red. Cherry Red Effect Z24 or X1020, as opposed to black from the previous models. A new feature on the R34 GTR is a 5.8 inches LCD multifunction display on the center of the dashboard, which shows seven different live readings of engine and vehicle statistics such as turbocharger pressure, oil and water temperature, among others. The GTR V spec model added two extra features to the display intake and exhaust gas temperatures. Nismo multifunction displays can be bought at an extra cost, they include a lap timer, G-force meter and an increase in boost pressure measurement to 2 bar. The R34 GTR was made shorter in response to customer concerns who thought the R33 was too bulky. Like the R33, the new R34 GTR V-Spec models come equipped with the Atisa ETS Pro system and an active LSD at the rear while standard GTR models come with the non-pro system and a conventional mechanical differential. The V-Spec model also had firmer suspension and lower ground clearance, thanks to front and side splitters, as well as a rear carbon fiber air diffuser, designed to keep air flowing smoothly under the car. Another special model of the A34 GTR is the M-Spec. It was similar to the V-Spec, but had special ripple control dampers. Revised suspension setup, stiffer rear sway bar, and a leather interior with heated front seats. The M on the M spec stood for Mizuno, who is the chief engineer of Nissan. At the time of the R34's release, like the R32 and R33, Nissan released an R34N1 model. The R34 GTR N1 was equipped similar to the R32 and R33N1 models, a Euro homologation special. It was sold without air conditioning, audio equipment, rear wiper, or trunk lining, but ABS remained. The new A34N1 was also given the new A34N1 engine. Only 45 or 34 V-Spec N1 models were produced from the factory, 12 of which were used by Nismo for Super Take U Racing. The rest were sold to various customers, mostly racing teams and tuning garages. The V-Spec version was also imported into the UK with a number of modifications carried out on the car. These included three additional oil coolers, revised ECU map, full Connolly leather interior, underbody diffusers, stiffer suspension, active rear limited slip differential, extra display feature on the in-car display. In October 2000, Nissan released the V-Spec 2, replacing the V-Spec. The V-Spec 2 has increased stiffness in the suspension and had larger rear brake rotors. It also comes equipped with a carbon fiber hood equipped with a NACA duct, which is lighter than the aluminum that all other GTR hoods are made from. Also different on the V-Spec 2 was an iridium center console and aluminum pedals. 
the seats were upholstered with black cloth rather than the grey cloth used on previous R34 GTR models, and the amber turn lenses were replaced with white versions. With the exception of the carbon fiber bonnet, the standard trim level GTR also received these updates. In February 2002 Nissan released a final production model of the R34 GTR called the Skyline GTR V Spec 2 NAR 1 quarter R and the Skyline GTR M Spec NAR 1 quarter R. The NAR 1 quarter R was named after the famous German NAR 1 quarter R Bergring racetrack, where the Skyline was developed. In total 1034 GTR NAR 1 quarter R, S, were made. 750 were V spec 2 NA 1 quarter RS and 250 M spec NA 1 quarter RS. The NA 1 quarter R model featured an improved RB26 DETT based on the N1 racing engine. The standard turbochargers were upgraded to larger versions with a slight increase in boost and the ceramic blades were replaced with steel versions. This has increased lag but to compensate the turbo's durability was improved while being able to handle a bigger boost increase. This allowed tuners to increase the boost safely with standard turbos up to 340 a kilowatt at the crank. The V-Spec 2 NAR 1 quarter R is based on the regular V-Spec 2 model, and the M-Spec NAR 1 quarter R was based on the regular M-Spec model. Other than the addition of the NAR 1 quarter R engine, the NAR 1 quarter R models also included a different color of stitching on the interior trim, as well as a speedometer reading up to 300 km per hour, and gold valve covers instead of red. Due to Japanese car industry norms at the time, the car was advertised as having 206 a kilowatt but it actually had over 246 a kilowatt when it left the factory. Production figures, standard cars equals 3965. V spec equals 1308, V spec UK equals 100, V spec N1 equals 45, V spec 2 equals 5512, V spec 2 NAR 1 quarter ranking equals 750, V spec 2 N1 equals 18, M spec equals 228, M spec NAR 1 quarter ranking equals 250, total equals 12175, Z tune. Nismo originally designed the concept of the Z-Tune in 2002 when Nissan was putting an end to the A34 Skyline production. The first Z-Tune was built in 2003, using a used 2002 Skyline GTR V-Spec 2. It was built with a concept RB26 DETT Z1 engine. This engine was based on Nissan's Le Mans GT2 and GT500 racing experiences. As with the racing vehicles a strengthened engine block and stroked crankshaft were utilized. The engine was also bored. With the new displacement of 2.8L and upgraded turbochargers the Z1 produced 370 a kilowatt. The Z-Tune had a 0 a Euro 100 a kilometer per hour time in 3.8 seconds and has a top speed of over 203 a mile per hour. Nismo was then given the approval from Nissan to build Z-Tune models for the Nismo anniversary. Nismo then purchased 20 used a 34 GTR V-Specs, each with less than 18,000 miles on the clock. They were then completely stripped and were resprayed to a Z-Tune Silver, a special color exclusively for the Z-Tune. For each of the 20 production models, the 2.8L engine was revised to allow it to reach 8,000 RPMs. The turbochargers were supplied by IHI in Japan. The engine is advertised as making as much as 370 a kilowatt. This second revision of the Z-Tune engine is called the Z-2. The bodywork is designed with the same functional components used in Nismo's GT500 racing cars, such as engine bay vents on the hood and fenders, as well as wider fenders for wider wheels. The Z-Tune is also improved with an aggressive suspension set up from Saks, and a specially designed Brembo handbrake system. The entire car is essentially handmade, with the car being completely stripped and rebuilt from the chassis up. Engineers reinforced and stiffened the chassis seam welding in key areas such as the door seams and door frames and added carbon fiber to the strut towers and transmission tunnel and the engine bay, completely redesigning the suspension, drivetrain, engine gearbox and other components so as to work at maximum efficiency and reliability as is expected of a road-going vehicle. Although Nismo planned on building 20 cars, they ceased production on only 19. 
the Z Tune is often regarded as the most expensive street legal GTR ever built. Replacement Following the end of a 34 production in 2002, Nissan announced their plans to separate the GTR model from the Skyline name, creating an entirely new vehicle although it would be based on the same platform as the Skyline. This new car, now known simply as the Nissan GTR, debuted in 2007 in Tokyo. Released to the consumers in 2008, it was the first GTR available worldwide, entering the North American market for the first time. Although based on the FM platform used by the V36 generation Skyline, the GTR uses an evolved premium midship platform. The car retains its heritage by using the chassis code CBA of 35, or simply of 35. Powertrain The GTR of the 1990s included a 2.6L straight six-cylinder twin-turbo engine producing 206 a kilowatt. The stock turbochargers were of a hybrid steel ceramic design allowing them to spool up faster due to the light nature of the ceramic exhaust wheel. Power was delivered to all four wheels using an electronically controlled all-wheel drive system referred to by Nissan as the Atisa ETS system. The Atisa ETS system uses two G-sensors mounted underneath the center console, which feed lateral and longitudinal inputs to the ECU. The ECU would then control the feed of power by allowing a limited amount to be delivered to the front wheels via an electronic torque split converter. In 1995, the Atisa ETS Pro was introduced as an option for a 33 GTR customers, and came as standard equipment in GTR V-Spec models. It was later standard equipment in all GTR models for the A34 Skyline GTR. The Atisa ETS Pro added an active limited slip differential, which was controlled by the onboard Atisa computer. This was only for the rear differential, as the front differential remained as a normal limited slip differential. The Atisa ETS Pro was also advertised in brochures as adding an electronically controlled four-channel ABS brake system. Although it is not related to the all-wheel drive system, it uses much of the same sensors, and the same computer. The A32 could be switched from AWD to a WD by removing the 4WD fuse, but A33 and A34 models had to have the front tail shaft removed, or the center diff can be depressurized for towing mode as specified in the owner's manual. The car also had computer-controlled all-wheel steering system referred to as HICAS. The HICAS system activated when the vehicle exceeded 80 a km per hour and controlled the steering of the rear wheels in the same direction as the front to improve turn-in on entry to corners. It should be noted however that this feature is often seen as more of a hindrance than help in race applications. The system tends to favor less advanced drivers, and can make the rear suspension unstable during high-speed cornering. For this reason many kits are available to override this system usually by looping its hydraulic lines back on themselves on the A32, or in the case of the A33-34 models a simple lockout bar can be fitted or a TOMU kit which also alters the electronics on the electrical control system of it. This is seen to make the car much more predictable when driving at the limit of grip. While the published figures from Nissan were as quoted above, Tests showed the car had a factory power output of closer to 330 PS at the flywheel. The lower published figure was Nissan's response to the need to abide by a gentleman's agreement between the Japanese auto manufacturers not to release a car to the public exceeding 280 PS of power output. N1 engines, AB26 DETTN1 is an upgraded version of the standard AB26 DETT engine. It was developed by Nissan Cookies Reinic division for NISMO and N1 race cars. The standard AB26 DETT, although known for its durability, proved to require too much maintenance for Group N racing conditions. Reinic started with strengthened RB26 DETT block. N1 block is identified by its 24U number stamped on the block. The cylinder walls are thicker and water cooling channels are enhanced to increase flow. It also received an upgraded oil pump and water pump, to improve the cooling and lubrication for race conditions. The pistons have 1.2 ohm top rings and were balanced before assembly but otherwise very close to standard. 
The connecting rods are also similar to standard but made from slightly stronger material and balanced. Standard crankshaft is balanced to a higher level. Higher flow exhaust manifolds and turbochargers were added for increased torque and slightly higher top end power. Turbine wheels on the N1 turbochargers are also made from steel for durability, rather than the lighter but weaker ceramic found on the standard turbine. The A32 Skyline GTR N1 streetcar marked the N1 engine's introduction to the consumer. R32, 33, and 34 N1 streetcars were known for lack of amenities and their light weight. The A33 N1 engine and turbochargers were slightly revised, and the A34 N1 engine saw further improvement. The camshaft timing was altered slightly for more torque. R33 and A34 N1 turbochargers are the same size however A34 N1 S use a ball bearing center section. NISMO states the ball bearings in the A34 N1 allow them to spool 400 rpms faster than A33 N1. The final N1 engine is the A34 Na 1 quarter R engine. The only differences are the cam cover color change from red to gold and A34 Na 1 quarter R edition was a fully loaded street car. There were 1,000 NAR 1 quarter R engines made for use in the A34 V Spec 2 NAR 1 quarter R and A34 M Spec NAR 1 quarter R models. Motorsport The GTR's history of racetrack dominance began with its 50 victories scored from 1968 to Euro 1972, including 49 consecutive wins in the Japanese race circuit. Nissan pulled out of racing shortly after the release of the KPGC 110. The Skyline GTR later earned the nickname Godzilla, for it's a play on its monster track performance and country of origin. The A32 GTR dominated JTCC, winning all 29 races it entered in the series, as well as taking the series title every year from 1989 to Euro 1993. It took 50 races from 50 starts from 1991 to Euro 1997 in the N1 Super Tegu. The GTR's success sounded the death knell of Group A touring car racing, with the formula being scrapped soon after. JTCC was similarly dominated by the A32 GTR, and splintered soon after, leading to the switch to the Super Touring category and also indirectly to the GT500 category of today. The GTR's success in motor racing was formidable, particularly in the annual 1000 km race at the Mount Panorama Circuit in Bathurst. Australia, where the winner in 1991 and 1992 was a GTR in weight penalties and a turbo pressure relief valve in 1992, and crashing, and in the Japanese GT series where it has remained dominant for many years. The Skyline GTR line were retired from the JGTC series in 2004. Its successor, the Nissan GTR, competed and dominated the 2008 Super GT season, winning the GT500. No other race victories by the GTR could escape without controversies. At the 1990 Macau Grand Prix Guerrier Touring Car Race, the factory backed a 32 driven by Masahiro Hasami led the race from the start to the finishing line which caused a wave of protests by the European entrants. The following year, the car was forced to carry a weight penalty of 140 a kg and was up against the more competitive DTM BMW M3 and Mercedes-Benz 190e 2.5 a Euro 16 Evolution 2. A disgruntled Hasemi was forced to settle for fourth place. For the following and final year the weight penalty was reduced and works backed Hasemi returned with another privateer a 32 that crashed in the race, while Hasemi retired with engine failure. In the UK, Andy Middlehurst took the Nissan Skyline GTR to two consecutive championship wins in the National Saloon Car Cup. Other championship titles include the 1991 Australian Touring Car Championship Jim Richards, the 1991 Australian Endurance Championship, the 1991 Australian Manufacturers Championship, the 1992 Australian Touring Car Championship and the 1992 Spanish Touring Car Championship. Akira Kamiyama has taken the GTR to the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb Race on three occasions winning in each open class for production cars he entered, one in 1993 with the A32, another in 1996 with the A33 and again in 1998. For the following year, 
Rhys Millen took an A33 Skyline GTR to win the High Performance Showroom Stock category. At the 1994 Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona, the GTR would make its U.S. debut when Nismo entered a sole Group A specification of 32 for the GTU category, the car would finish 20th. In 1995 Nismo developed the Skyline GTR for endurance racing with a pair of JGTC specification of 33S for the 24 Hours of Le Mans. In order to meet homologation regulations, a street legal version had to be built, although Nismo only required one example to comply. The two racing cars were able to achieve some success at Le Mans, with one car achieving 10th overall, and 5th in its GT1 class, being beaten only by the more developed McLaren F1 GTRs. For 1996, the Skyline GTR LMs would return, this time carrying enlarged RB26 DETTs displacing 2.8 litres. Again competing in GT1, they would finish 15th overall, and 10th in class. However, Nissan chose to abandon their production-based Skyline GTR LMs in 1997 and instead turned to the purpose-built A390 GT1S. In honor of the success of the Skyline at Le Mans, Nissan marketed a limited edition A33 referred to as LM Limited, only available in a competition blue. There were also three of the LM Limited model made in white. In 2006 AutomotiveForums.com became the first team to compete with an A34 GTR in the United States, participating in the Speed World Challenge GT Series. Team, driver and president of AutomotiveForums.com Igor Sushko, crew chief Sean Morris, team manager Victor Reyes, mechanic Josh Mitchell, and engineer Merritt Johnson. In 2007 the heat treatments drag R32 Skyline GTR driven by Rhys McGregor of New Zealand, broke the world record for the fastest AWD over a one-quarter mile with a 7.57 at 305.98 km per hour at the Willowbank Dragway in Australia, a record previously held by the HKS A33 Skyline GTR with a 7.67. Heat treatments at 32 has gone as quick as 7.53 at 185 a mile per hour. On the same year at TOTB UK Racing Series, Keith Cowie and RB Motorsports GTR BNR32 broke the fastest 4WD 0 to 300 kph record with a time of 12.47 seconds. Previous record holder is another GTR, a BNR32 from Hillside Japan with 13.72 seconds which had done the said feat during the early 90s. See also, Nissan B26 DETT engine, Nissan S20 engine, Nissan GTR, Nissan, Prince, Shinai Shiro Sakurai, Naganari Ito, Kozo Watanabe. References External links, NISMO Japan website, Nissan Skyline at the Internet Movie Cars Database.